Welcome to another Eternal Monday. Today we have round three of the September 2023 Eternal Format Tournament at Dragon's Lair at Alamo Ranch here in San Antonio, Texas. This is a very interesting match featuring Articuno Locke and Reggie Gigas. Before we begin, I just want to remind everyone that the Eternal Format is a base set onward format with a ban list. So it's like Unlimited, but a little less insane. If you want to learn more about the Eternal Format, and the cards on its ban list, you can go to justinbasil.com slash eternal. Up first, we have Reggie Gigas. This version of Reggie Gigas was first featured in a bonus game in the August 2023 Eternal Format Tournament. That was back when the videos were all one giant video. But this is a still a very interesting list. You're still doing the crazy shenanigans with Thornton. This list plays Wobbuffet to deal with some of its bigger counters, including a Vile Plume. The basic idea behind the deck is really not that dissimilar from Reggie Gigas as it existed when it was more popular in our current standard format. You get your Reggies in play, and once they're all in play, you're able to use Regigigas' Ancient Wisdom ability to accelerate energy to each of your Pokemon. Now, notice I said Pokemon. That's because even though in Standard you only ever had room for the Regis, in Eternal you have access to Skyfield, which means that you're able to have other Pokemon in play when you're using that ability. So you could, for example, accelerate to Kyogre, or instead to Naganoddle and Guzzlord GX, or even to Radiant Greninja or Eveltal. You have options. And Thornton means that those options are available to you in a blink. This deck also runs the Roxy engine, which uses a pair of the Propagation Execute and Roxy itself. Roxy, of course, has the effect of allowing you to discard up to two Pokemon from your hand, as long as they're not EX or GX. And then for each Pokemon you discard in that way, you draw three cards. Very, very strong effect. And in combination with Propagation, which allows you to put Execute from your discard pile into your hand, you basically have a super strong draw machine. And for our other deck here, we have Articuno Paralysis Lock, or Articuno Lock for short. This deck is nefarious. It is using the Articuno from Silver Tempest, which has the Wild Freeze attack. Wild Freeze for two energy does 70 damage. And it says this Pokemon also does 50 damage to itself. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So the idea here is you're doing 70 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon on and paralyzing it, which is pretty rough in and of itself because your opponent will need to find a way out of the active spot or will need to find some other way to remove the paralysis from their active Pokemon. That doesn't seem like it's all that bad right out of the gate. However, this deck has a disgusting partner and that partner is Vileplume with its Irritating Pollen ability. Irritating Pollen says that your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. So now they can't play Switch. They can't play Escape Rope. They can't play any of the sorts of switching cards they would hope to, which basically means Guzma is their last hope. And if they don't run that many copies of Guzma because they're reliant on a Versus Seeker engine, they kind of will hate life. <laughs> to make matters worse, Articuno also has a partner in Dusknoir. Dusknoir has the ability Sinister Hand. As often as you like during your turn, before your attack, you may move a damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of your opponent's Pokemon. This means that what you can do is gradually build up damage with Articuno's Wild Freeze attack, paralyzing your opponent so that they can't attack you back. Then, as it becomes your turn, you move all of that damage that you did with Articuno the previous turn onto their other Pokemon, gradually getting each of them closer and closer and closer to knockout before finally just sweeping their board or taking prize cards as needed. The deck does run a few healing cards like Rough Seas and the Manaphy from Shining Legends. Manaphy from Shining Legends has the ability Blessings of the Deep. Once during your turn, before your attack, it may heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it. This basically means that your Articuno is always in tip-top shape ready to attack, and since it's not going to be knocked out, it's going to be keeping your opponent in a permanent paralysis lock. Now that we know the basics behind Articuno and Regigigas, let's look at the game. As we're setting up play here, I am going to apologize in advance for the extreme glare that is on this particular video. I did want to still cover this game because it is such an interesting pair of decks, um, but it will be a little difficult at times to see which cards are where simply because the sunlight in the store at the time we recorded this game was astounding. We weren't anywhere near the windows, but the sun was just so, so, so bright that even with the store's sun shielding, it still just lit everything up and unfortunately makes some of the cards a bit hard to see. I will try as much as I can with my commentary to point out what cards are where as they're relevant. But uh, again, apologies for the extreme brightness of many of these cards. Okay, so we have our Regigigas player going first. Searching the deck, I believe that's with Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor lets them search through their deck for up to three cards of any type and discard them. I see a Execute with Propagation and a couple of special energies there. Pretty decent start. An Acrobike. And a Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail getting a Roxy off the top there. Roxy always good to see. 
having just a camera here real quick, just to make it a little bit easier to see things. Uh, we do see that quick ball discarding the propagation execute to get a Reggie Drago down as that dragon's horde ability that'll help draw a little bit of cards and a pass. All right. So Articuno Lock unlock is going now. They're going to get their stuff set up. <clears throat> they drop a quick ball. Not sure what they're discarding there. Hopefully it's nothing too important for them. They do get support navigation Lapras to get a Pokemon Collector. Pokemon Collector is a supporter card from the HeartGold Soul Silver era that reads, search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon and put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. And then just like that, the camera sinks again. I'm gonna have to get a different mount because I don't like this one. We see an Articuno, another Oddish. And there was a third card there that I did not quite catch. The Duskull. So that Duskull has a held item that allows it to evolve on the very first turn that it's put into play. So that has now already evolved into Dusclops. And we see a pass back to Reggie Drago. Well, to Reggie, I guess. Might as well be Reggie Drago at this point. Uh, we do see Roxy discarding Eveltel and the Execute with Propagation. So that the Reggie Gigas player is able to draw six. That is good. Play down a Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice has the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Power uh, Reggie Move, I believe it's called. Allows you to disc two cards, discard two cards from your hand and force your opponent to switch out their active Pokemon. See a Prism Energy come down on the Reggie Drago and a pass. Both players not having horrible starts, but definitely not having great starts. See a vile plume come down. Going to item lock the Reggie Gigas player right away. Not let them use some of their recovery options or their search options. Just kind of cripple them in general. We do see a Call versus experiment. This deck does need to get some uh, some draw. Call versus experiment is going to be the way they do that. Putting a Guzma and another card in the loss zone. Attaching a water energy to that benched Articuno, getting it ready to use that attack. And set up that lock. Not quite just ready. Not quite ready just yet. Pardon. And we see another Prism Energy come down on that Reggie Drago. And a pass. All right. We do have that second energy on that Articuno. That Articuno is now a big threat. We see an N. Both players are going to shuffle their hands to their deck and draw six cards. As both players have six prize cards remaining. Have to wonder... I have to assume, rather, that the Articuno Lock player was looking for some sort of switch option, but did not find it as they've already switched and passed over to their opponent. And I have had, once again, to adjust the camera. We do see a Guzma gusting that uh, that uh, Oddish out of the active spot. And the Vile Plume into the active spot. Radiant, and Gr Radiant Greninja goes down, and Counter Energy is discarded to draw two. And that's going to be a knockout on the Vile Plume. And immediately we see another Colrus's experiment from our Articuno player here. Looking at the top five cards of their deck, they have to choose two of them to throw into the Lost Zone, and they've thrown a Fog Crystal and a Quick Ball. Since they're no longer item locked themselves with that Vile Plume, they can now play Evolution Incense, and they're going to go for another Vile Plume, but can't do it quite directly, so they're going to go for Gloom first. Use that Irresistible Aroma ability. Uh, flip tails, unfortunately, and they put down another Oddish. All right, so that is the first attack off of that, off of that Articuno. The Articuno now has done seventy damage to that Reggie Drago, and that Reggie Drago is paralyzed. All right, we see the Hisuian Heavy Ball on the Reggie Gigas' side. The uh, player wanted to make sure that we saw how horrifying those prize cards were. They grabbed a Reggie Steel off those prizes to get it out. And ready in case it is knocked out. They just need a couple of more readies down. They're going to need to find a sky field to do that, though. They have Radiant Greninja taking one of the spaces on their bench. See that Execute coming back out of the discard pile with Roxy. Discarding the Registeel they just got, actually. And the Execute to draw six more cards. But it does not look like it was enough. And see the Reggie move forcing the Articuno player to switch out their Pokemon there. They choose the Lapras, interestingly enough. I suspect they have a Floatstone on hand ready to go. 
See Skyfield coming down. A quick ball discarding execute and getting that Reggie Alecki out. And if I'm not mistaken, that is now all the Reggie's needed. See Reggie Gigas, Reggie Steel, Reg Ice, and Reggie Alecki and Reggie Darling Actors. So that should be all of them. We do see the Ancient Wisdom ability on that Reggie Gigas, attaching a couple of energy to that Reggie Alecki, it looks like. Let's see a rescue energy and another energy. I believe that's a prism energy. Some sort of rainbow, I think. And we just get a pass. I'm fishing that Skyfield back out of this card pile. I accidentally got scooped up when I went playing another card. Uh, a Zelf coming down, doing the time walk to fish out the other Vile Plume in the deck. That Vile Plume is absolutely necessary for the Articuno player to get a good lock on the Regigigas player. Locking them out of switching items, like their scoop up cyclone. I mean, I see that mana if you go down. That mana from Shining Legends has that ability that allows it to heal twenty damage from one of your Pokemon in play that has a water energy attached to it. So if that Articuno happens to take any damage, like from itself, for example, it'll heal some of that damage off. We now see Sinister Hand at work here, moving that damage from the active Regidrago to one of the bench Pokemon. In this case, it does appear to be the Regigigas. So the, uh, the uh, Articuno Lock player here is keeping that damage moving so that that Reggie Drago will not be knocked out, but will, contain, will constantly be paralyzed. And just spreading that damage, spreading that damage until eventually they get a whole sweep of knockouts. Or if necessary, take a couple knockouts immediately to prevent an issue. Right, we have to just pass. See so a water attachment to that Vile Plume. Interesting preemptive little attachment there. Moving some damage around, it looks like, with Sinister Hand. Putting some of that damage on Reggie Alecki. And then moving the damage to the Reggie Alecki again, knocking it out. Unfortunately, because that was not knocked out with the effect of an attack, Rescue Energy is not in effect for that particular card, which means both Rescue Energy and the Reggie Lucky are going to hit that discard pile. I do see a Thornton. That is going to be a very interesting choice. And they are going to play that Thornton. That Thornton is crazy. The Thornton to execute <laughs> what? <laughs> the Reggie Gigas player purposely knocks out their own Pokemon, swapping out the active with a lower HP execute to knock it out and force it out of the active spot so they can actually play the game. What a wild and awesome play. Ancient Wisdom once again coming out. <laughs> that is that is phenomenal. We do see, do see a knockout on the Articuno. The Articuno now going to be an issue because the Articuno player does not have a power to Articuno to continue streaming those attacks. Reggie Steel going to be hitting a lot of stuff for weakness too. That Articuno just going to go down pretty easily. Lapras does have a float stone on it, so maybe something can happen here. Vile Plume going into the active spot. Not sure. Just kind of praying that it, it stays alive. Counting on the counting on that Manaphy perhaps to heal what it doesn't die from. We do see yet another set of attachments with Ancient Wisdom onto the active Reggie Drago. And a Kyogre comes down on the bench. Very scary. That Vile Plume now also goes down, making the Reggie Gigas player no longer item locked. Both players no, no longer item locked. We actually see the Articuno player playing Computer Search, discarding what appears to be another Dustmore and uh, maybe a Countercatcher. I'm not entirely certain what that other card is. Not really relevant at this point, though. They've got whatever card they want out of the deck. Uh, perhaps that was the Rough Seas. Rough Seas forcing the Reggie's player to discard the Kyogre. Probably the right choice here. Going to get in down to three cards for the Reggie Gigas and four for the Articuno player. Not not the, really the end of the world, though. The Reggie Gigas player is set up fairly well, and Articuno player really isn't. I'm going to see a Duskull come back out. Maybe setting up a second Sinister Hand just preemptively. Doesn't feel like it's going to be that useful. But they're setting up a, a Sacrificial Oddish. That seems like heresy. We do see... A field blower discarding those uh, retreat tools there. That's a little brutal. Those no, no longer will serve as pivot Pokemon. 
Let's see a battle compressor getting pulled out or discarded. Oh yes, uh, trainer's mail. Gonna see a trainer's mail there. Pulling a Versus Seeker out of the deck uh, with the item lock not being a salvage at the moment. Versus Seeker, pretty decent pick. Makes sure they can get access to Guzma. And Guzma, they do. And they're going to take that Sinister Hand out, making those pieces crumble. So that Articuno lock cannot reestablish itself. That's going to make that Regigigas player just that much closer to victory. I believe that was a scoop up cycle and a reuse of the Regigigas. Not entirely sure if that's what that was, but I do believe that's what that was. We do see another Pokemon collector, a Radiant Greninja, and I think that's an Articuno. Yes, that is an Articuno. So they could attach. They're going to just discard with Radiant Greninja to draw a couple of cards. Hope to hit an Aqua Patch so they can get that thing powered up. Doesn't look like they did, though, because they're going to go for a Guzma instead, hitting a Reggie, uh, trying to strand a Reggie Steel. Interesting. They're going to get the Reggie Gigas out of the prize cards with the Hisui and Happy Ball. Quick Ball, the Lux Ray. Got to search the deck for a Reg Ice, it looks like. Just trying to thin it. They have to hit. They have to. They, well, they want Versus Seeker. The only Pokemon in play right now are Reggies. They are going to force him to switch. All right, do we see a double or a, a double colorless energy go down on that Reggie steel? Not, unfortunately, what they wanted to do, but okay. So doesn't look like that's what they wanted to do, but it looks like the Articuno player went ahead and conceded. Unfortunately for the Articuno player, that game was just not going to happen. So they have scooped it up. Well, that is it for today's game. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you happen to be in the San Antonio area on November 11th, you can join us for the next Eternal Format special event. Deck validation and registration will begin at 11 a.m. And the tournament itself will begin at noon. With that out of the way, I thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.